Hey, what is up there guys? This is Cobb. Spoiler warning! Okay, there's gonna be spoilers all over the place in this goddamn video. If you don't want any spoilers for the Stoneblood story, particularly Yotsuyu's story arc, yeah, why did you cook this video? Leave, goddammit. So first of all, three things in this goddamn video. This first section, really, really short, gonna give my thoughts on 4.0 Yotsuyu before her death. You know what I'm saying? So, 4.0 Yotsuyu, man. Extremely sadistic. She was definitely a very, very impactful character. Beat the Shadow Gosetsu, torturing those villages on the beach, making people shoot their own parents and friends and shit like that. Oh my god, dude. I was pulled in, I was intrigued. What the hell made a character like this so, so messed up? And let me tell you something. 4.0 Yotsuyu? Pre-death Yotsuyu? I was disappointed, dude. I was really, really disappointed. I was like, man... I wish we'd got to learn more about her, right? We learned that she had a kind of messed up childhood, like sold off by her parents to send uh, her stepbrother to, to the Galleon Empire and all of this kind of stuff. We learned like little tidbits, but it was never really fleshed out. It never really explained to me. It didn't explain to me adequately how she was so messed up, how she was so fucked up in the head and how she was so... So goddamn sadistic, you know what I'm saying? So I was disheveled, I was disappointed, I was ready to go ahead and make a video actually picking apart all of the different villains in Stormblood and you know, what I don't like about Fordola, what I do like, what I don't like about Yotsuyu I was gonna tear into Yotsuyu pretty hard, honestly. So I'm really, really glad that I played through the 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 content. The reveal that she had survived and that she was with uh, Gesetsu, you know, right at the end of 4.0 and that her memories were gone. That was an incredible revelation. Me, I'm the kind of person, on like a personal note, I'm one of those kinds of people I just don't believe that people can change. I don't. I'm quite cynical in that way, I guess. Maybe it's just realistic. Most people get very, very set in their ways, the more pathological they are, the less likely they are to break out of their ways and break the pattern and change for the better. That's just me, again, maybe a bit pessimistic, but at the same time, I'm a huge goddamn sucker for redemption stories. It's a massive contradiction, <laughs> but my god, man, was I excited at the possibility of seeing Yotsuyu redeemed. I didn't know how it could possibly happen, but at the same time, I was just so, so excited at the possibility. And having Yotsuyu's memory get knocked out almost felt like the perfect conduit, the perfect window of opportunity for that to happen. Why? Because it disarmed her of all of her previous misgivings. It disarmed her of this idea that everyone is just out to use her for various purposes, from, you know, the, the way she was sold off to, like, a goddamn a bathhouse, you know, basically a goddamn whorehouse on flea bottom. The way her parents fucked her around and mistreated her and abused her and, and and sold her off and all of this shit, you know? And even the way that Xenos in the Empire basically just used her as a weapon against the uh, the Dormant people, you know? She, her entire life she was just used and exploited, you know? So losing her memory and seeing all of that stuff get stripped away and all of those predispositions get stripped away, it's like maybe now she can see that not everybody, namely Gesetsu, is not out to take the piss, it's not out to exploit her, it's not out to abuse her and use her for something, you know what I'm saying? Gesetsu was just being an honourable bastard, and it was also later revealed that Gesetsu saw her as the daughter that he lost, you know, which was also really sad and really interesting, you know, but he was out to protect him. So I was so fucking ready, I was so ready to see this redemption story come together. Let's roll on with the goddamn reactions from uh, the 4.1 to the roughly the end-ish of 4.3 content. Let's roll those out, and then I'm going to give my final thoughts and kind of talk over the final trial just a little bit. Enjoy, boys and girls. Oh, you it's see? Gusetsu! No. Oh, I do give thanks to the Kami that my makeshift raft withstood the fury of disease. Now, where is Yotsuyu, man? Yeah, where is she? Where, where is the cow? <laughs> she brought is this a redemption story as well? It's Dango Delicious, will you have it's one? Dango Delicious, delicious. <laughs> will you have one? More sweet breads. I surrender my blade to secure what few coins we have. <laughs> She's spinning <laughs> the shit. <laughs> fucking sweet. She's gonna eat two. <laughs> bah, it's like talking to a child. <laughs> My feet settled me with this burden, I shouldn't but know. But I am alive, and I must return to my master's side. Come, Tsuyu. We shall find a ship to carry us across the Ruby Sea. Tsuyu. 
Well, so she is actually just going willingly with him as well. Well, to be fair, what else is she gonna do? If she shows her face anywhere where she's recognized, man, she'll be fucking executed. <laughs> what, is this where he in is? Why is he, he why is he like in the hideout still? They've conquered this shit now. My Lord here. Then again, the palace collapsed. I Go, Setsu. <laughs> Full glad am I to see you alive and well. Now then, it's a, you though you rejoice at your return, mm -hmm. it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Yeah, you can put it like that. <laughs> Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. I like how he said outrage or anything, he just trusts that there's a pretty good reason, you know? Because <laughs> he knows yeah. it's Kasetsu. Look. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Garleans will not soon give up the chase. Hmm, fair, yeah. She's like a loose end, though. Hey. She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. Regardless, yeah. the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. No, I don't want to. <laughs> her voice is changing everything. Don't let her take me away. <laughs> <sighs> it's all right, so you. I will come with you. Oh God. After all she fucking did to him, you know? Mm -hmm. Had to beat the fuck out of. Shot him. <laughs> fucking. Yep. Uh, literally murdered From civilians, you know, in front of him. To a puppy at his heel. The bloody hell's going on here, man. Ah! Uh, by the army! Your Lord Ian! Leave me! Leave me, I beg of you! What the fucking hell is this problem? There you are. Forgive me, uh, by abrupt disappearance. I was her master. When she was yet a. Courtesan. Oh God! By the Kami. She worked, worked in his in establishment. My establishment. <sighs> oh man. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Oh God. What a fine he father. Her short. When I first beheld her. I was struck by her beauty. She seemed more a doll than a woman. And, and but why would he fuck off now? Though, I don't understand. Because he's seen her. What does it matter? Like, it is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. He's probably so, not proud of owning such an establishment as well. Blame for creating the monster she became. Yes. Joining the front was meant to be my atonement. The truth is, I am a coward. Whose only thought was to escape her wrath. Then as now. Oh, he thinks that she's gonna come after him. At least he's trying to atone for being a doyle. <laughs> I guess, kind of. Yeah, we've got some drop pod action. What's this person? I don't see. Oh, yeah, the. Small person. Hmm. Well! Hi. That we should be received by the Lord of Dorma himself. In the book of you. I but afford an emissary of peace, the courtesy he is due. I am Asahi Sus Brutus, ambassador plenipotentiary of Gar. Gardabald. Why are the middle speakers always dressed in white men? Is for the Asians as well? And Yotsu's stepbrother. Oh God. Yotsu's fucking stepbrother. Go it like is this, the former acting viceroy is my sister. Yet, bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. Ah, this is the brother that was sent off to Garlemald for an education I and stuff, wasn't it? I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. Our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission. Okay, did not see this coming, like. To negotiate yeah. peace with Dorma. What is going on here, man? Nod. Okay, well, if they both nodded now, I believe you. I don't. Well, then, we have much to discuss. I mean, you gotta entertain Will it, even if it's a theater, you know? Hall? Gladly, my lord. I don't like this one bit. Oh, yeah, it stinks, man. I don't know. 
On behalf of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll forgive me if we forgo the pleasure. Yes. No, ask you. You say you are come to negotiate peace. What do you want? I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dormer's sovereignty. But that much is true. Know, however, that he has expressed willingness to cede Dorma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. After all the terrible things the Empire did mm. here. <laughs> to everyone's suspicious. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. The tininess of his eyebrows annoys me. See how tiny they are, man. Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. But they cannot be suffered to, to exist. It's exactly what Xenos said. On the condition that well, Dormus renounces summoning mm. and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it. Couldn't the Galleons, I was going to say, just manufacture summoning here? Are oh, no. Parties who would destabilize the region. We have no choice now, either. military forays. Mm. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Tis an irony among ironies. It also gives him a pretty good, you know, excuse for constantly Indeed. expanding. Many summonings are yeah. the result of persecution. The weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. How can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? A fine question, Ian. I cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. I would like to make a proposal. A prisoner exchange. Repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the recent conflict. Naturally, any exchange would include the acting viceroy. Hmm. He's a convincing bastard. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit. But I will need time to consider it. Of Did the Imperials take many prisoners? I thought they just killed them all. Dorma until you have come to a decision. Oh, welcome to death in factories, Dorma. Making like munitions and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's where I think he was going to go, wasn't it? He said it was nearly you sent down. You shall be our honoured yeah. guests. Don't trust him. Don't trust his eyebrows. Don't trust his hair. <laughs> just don't trust his little face, man. I don't know. What about you? I don't trust him at all. I don't trust him as far as you can speak. No. Forget me to forgive me. I mean, the thing is, you have to accept this deal. It actually has to. Well, that was unexpected. You can say that again. I don't know quite what to make of it all. But on the surface, a prisoner exchange does seem like a good way to begin. The ambassador's mention of Yotsu, you left me ill at ease. You made his grand talk a peace seem uncannily like a lengthy, lengthy preamble. And I cannot fathom why they would go to such lengths. Exactly. Yotsu, Yotsu you may have she been must know something. But she's not Galilean here, yeah, not, not even highborn. Her value must presumably lie in what she knows. She must know something exceptionally valuable. Here yeah, we good. Get back! I'm warning you! If a zombie dies, we fucking riot, there will be no peace. Someone's in trouble. What the fucking hell's going on? I thought he was raging because he saw an Imperial, you know? Oh, it's the red oh, caution, man. Oh, red caution, dude. Ha. Are you alright? I may have small eyebrows, but you are safe with me. I'm gonna absolutely evisit. What do they think's gonna happen? We kill their god? Single-endedly? Yeah. I get him, boys! we are really sharp daggers this time. Like, go straight for the captain, mate. Oh, man, they safe fucking fight back, man. He's getting bullied on the back line here. Came on the dead. Almost out of my screen, too. Don't worry, man, is that me? For God's sake, when there's more? Alright, guy can use the sword, man. I'll give him that. That seems to be the last of them. You have nothing to fear, child. You are safe now. Okay. It's almost like it was Steve. She wasn't even scared, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no, nope, not even scared. Yuguri tells me you've accompanied her and SI on a tour of Yanjia. Well, we just happened to bunch into a bunch of red gorgian, which means us, if you ask me, um, you name it. In any event, I'm indebted to you for biting them off, but tell me, don't be modest, was Asai, uh, Asai, Asai. 
truly the first to leap to the youngster's aid. He was. He was quite, I, w I was quick to doubt him when we first met, but his desire to save them seemed quite genuine. Bullshit. Mm, bullshit. In the time I've known you, you've always been an excellent judge of character. What do you make of the ambassador? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ian. <laughs> Let me fucking tell you. I still don't think he can be trusted in three, two, one. <laughs> Regardless of yep. his aim, I'm resigned to playing his game. For now, at least. I have some unfinished business to attend to. Would you all come with me? Fucking <laughs> Alice and Alfie walking in sync. <laughs> We're like bopping at the same time, you know. <laughs> She's got some more dango. Some more dango. I had her brought here in secret while oh. the three of you kept our guest company. Oh. The world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. Yet here you are. The living, breathing proof of my failure. Oh boy. What, what did I do? I don't remember. Everything. You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? Were the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? You ask that I show mercy. <laughs> it's hard, man. I ask why the heavens saw fit to deny I mean, me my rest. He was just about to broker a fucking peace deal. He can't kill her anyway. Not only death, but the bitter memories of her life. Oh boy. Come out of the exchange. What the hell is going to happen? If her to memories me? have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. How the hell man, is this going to resolve? Is she going to lie then, say so we just don't have your Tsuyu? Well, is she just not part of the deal? We don't really, we have two of you. As you know, your sister is in our care. Fuck. She remembers nothing of her past life, not even her name. I sincerely doubt she will be of any great strategic value to the Empire. She spends her days daydreaming of Dango. Very well. In light of our recent misstep in Sakazuki, it seems only fair that I show you the same understanding you have shown us. Though I do have one small request. She is yet my sister. Before I, don't I like leave, this. might you permit me to speak with her in private? She's going to recognize him and it's going to bring back all of the terrible check. memories, you know. Oh, man. Keep an eye on him, Yugiri. I did I dream of this reunion, but never did I imagine it would be so joyless. I'm a stranger to her. That much was clear to me from a single look. I leave her in your care. No man, it's not, this can't be this simple. What if he jogged their memory and he's leaving her there as a sleeper agent now? I said so. As before, I leave lost to you to you. I invite the rest of you to join me outside. Let's treat Asahi to a proper farewell. This is uncomfortable. I know man, I feel like there's something brewing man. I simply cannot leave without first giving thanks to the warrior of light. No, I'm standing right I, here. I'm right here, hello. What's going on? Mark me, savior of the savages. There will be a reckoning. My yeah. god, those eyes are fucking terrifying. God, now we get the fucking neck on, man. He could cut our fucking head off. I know. He was actually in Doma? Ignorant savages! You who forsook kith and kin to serve conquerors! What I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa. What the shit? What the fuck saved him? Oh, for fuck's sake. This is not the scene us. Yeah. Oof. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A host of rebels led by Lord Kyan hold the enclave across the river. Lord Kyan. Eh, uh, this was way before us. Way before King us. King of the... Yep. The former King of Dorma, sir. That was Xenos Galvas, Legatus of the Twelfth. That was... Lord Xenos. Okay. What does this stupid little face think he's gonna do to us? Everything you are, your power, even your face, it vexes me. My Lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Was destined, huh? Then who did that? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's angry, I guess. 
turned it down. <laughs> yeah, well, I got something to tell you guys. <laughs> oh. I think that might send in compromised dormants, man. Is she getting her memories back here? What's this? Did he give her something? Yeah, she's been psyching her memories back, man. Look! What is it? I pray that one day soon, as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. Oh boy. It's Mr. Scientist. Mm-hmm. Fuck is this? How are you feeling, my lord? What the fuck? <gasps> Fine, now leave me. How? Clone. He's got, a, he's got a bandage around his neck. But he cut his own throat. He did cut his own throat. Bandage around his neck. Ugh. So he might have been taught. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. How is everybody living in this game? He has to be a clone. We had his corpse right there in the fucking palace. And while everyone's singing the fucking Alamega national anthem. Yeah, you can't tell me go? that he was there just pretending to be dead, like. Yep, I, I was gonna say, like, where, like, how could we not know that his body's disappeared? And again, there was word of, um. Some Alamegans who tracked down the graves of some Galilean soldiers, if you remember. It was just mentioned on the offhand and like the yeah, off chance of one of the. We're talking about like and grave said, robbers like, and shit, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, they, they like dug them up and they said like some like atrocities were committed. Like what's going on? To be fair, old, maybe. To, uh, yeah, man, he's old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please, so you. I'm not so frail that I cannot feed myself. <laughs> Can I fetch you something else? I don't know. A sweet persimmon from Namai. I enjoyed them in my youth. Do you think she remembers? Is this playing the part now, or...? Take off your what clothes. the fuck? Gosetsu, is this how you've been spending your <laughs> time? <laughs> Look at Elfie! <laughs> like, hmm... Off with them! We need to wash you, you stink! <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, there's the bullet wounds. Yeah, you did it, bitch. Hey, man, she fucking potted him how many times? <gasps> oh, shit. He's remembering. Come on, we've, we've done this a million times with the Echo, man. We should remember this. There's something wrong to you. We should be able to spot that, you know? Hey, thanks. Galleons are on their way. I'm just prepared to welcome the ambassador. Oh. <gasps> no. I don't see anything. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God, there she is. Oh, shit. Greetings. Might I have one of your... Wait! Please! Oh. I only wanted a persimmon! Oh, for God's sake, she's there looking for a oh, persimmon she, for Gisetsu. Yeah, she, she's looking for... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, she's going to be terrified. Maybe it's time for me to do something. It can't be. Oh, dear. She couldn't have survived. Oh, my gosh, she's going to remember him. Man. Good people of Namai, be at ease, I pray you. You have naught to fear. They told us she was dead. You're saying she's forgotten. Forgotten everything she's done. It's the will of the camera, you see. Just accept it. <laughs> lies! Lies! My lord, she would say anything to escape punishment. It's all true. I'm sorry. Yeah, what happens when she remembers why she did it, you know? Go, oh, Zami! I even called it by the right knee. Yeah, there's no mm -hmm. need to cry. <laughs> What's that? Ah, is it the pimps? She's not the same. Please, Issei. I'll keep my peace. There you go, Minis. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. She's happy. <laughs> so forward slash pit. Aww. Oh, you were certainly taking a long way around, but let us continue on to Castrum Flamini and our meeting with the ambassador. Now, for no analysis, should still be there conducting the search. Oh, yeah, they'll still be shitting themselves. <laughs> like, I'm not sure you look at the baskets and stuff and fucking. <laughs> 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 on the vest. See you. See you. 
Oh, Forgive us our late arrival. I'm just, I'm just waiting for this to go bad. Before excluding I think so. her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. That you didn't fucking tell us about. Or hearing about. Who? You know he agreed Who? to this meeting. Who? Get my goddamn summon out, man. My ifrit eggy. Oh, for fuck's sake, is it the parents? Oh, it God. is! Yeah. Bastards. Horrible. Horrible creatures. Oh my god. <laughs> they were fucking horrible to me. Yeah. Soldier is a... a slave. Are we supposed to give oh, her up now? People. Are we supposed to fucking just give her, like, even if she doesn't want to go? Because we agreed mm -hmm. to it? Does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories? Oh, kill him. Kill him. Fuck it, man. No peace. <gasps> Just pretend you're so you. Oh, I'm fine. Find me. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. I have to take this to Gossets. She's actively wrestling against it. Because he knows that as soon as she regains her memories, the doorman said that they would give her up. Yeah. He <laughs> 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 wants to rip his fucking head off. We continue with the exchange as planned then. Yes, let's get on with it, shall we? You have that look, Alfie. What is it? Well, nothing of consequence, most like. We can discuss it upon our return. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident. Yeah, I'm surprised there was one straight straight other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. Yeah, what, what did Alfie see, man? Yeah. His ish guardian clothes on, he's the odd one out. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. If the Ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. My lord, forgive me, but the Lady yachts you. She's gone. Again? I thought we were supposed to be but keeping an eye on you, Geary. I was certain she'd fallen asleep. <laughs> Fine. You gear, we were supposed to be keeping an eye on her. She just said 20 minutes ago that she needs to keep a more vigilant watch on her. Yep. And then here she is, man, having tea with Gusset Zoom in. Maybe they returned anyway at that meeting, but she just didn't want yeah. to go back. Oh dear. <gasps> it's her parents. Was it? It is! It is, it's her parents. Oh, well, fuck them. Yeah, but you don't want your two you to have Help done it. Me. Fuck em. What were they doing here, man? Are they stupid? He was just distraught, man. Yeah. If only I hadn't remembered. He should hate me. <gasps> but I will not suffer his kindness. Who's there? This fucking dickhead, man. <gasps> Oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? What are you doing out here? But what, what? Yeah. Ah, so they were dragged You're back the with the with the other conscripts. You're you. mm. A font of misery. You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh no. Oh, we're gonna get to see her die just now. We had up. I know. I just wish it wasn't just to you who had to do now. it, because she's starting off a new I person as a murderer. This. You've kept your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. Look at him. Maybe enough to get mm -hmm. us to Kugani and start a new business. What a sneasel nosed little <laughs> fucking gremlin. <laughs> yeah, she remembers, motherfucker. Oh, yes, man. this is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Yeah, she's not quite that scared little Very child well. that you used to fuck around with. If I cannot escape my nature. Yep. Then I shall embrace it. And it begins with you! You're through you! What? Oh my god, man. Right. Well, I'm glad they're, de they're dead. But like I said, not glad that she's doing it. God damn. She actually is like an evil spirit reborn again, you know? You're right though, man. She might have fucked up by chances now, you know? Oh no! Right now, kill him! No, for kill fuck's him. sake! In between the eyes, in the middle. Go on, Brother do it. Dearest, you always were a cold-blooded little worm. 
You yearn for a deeper vengeance and the power to see it through. God fucking damn it, dude. Well, she cheated on the. Uh, cheated on redemption. Hmm. Maybe she's not fully lost, I don't know, man, but it seems pretty bad to me. Please. To save her life and shit. I don't want to die. Stomp on his head. Motherfucker. Yeah, fuck him, man. Fucking no good, god Let damn. him suffer. Whatever he wants with her, he was willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. They weren't parents. Okay, so where those reactions... Oh, hi, hi, it's me again, by the way. The, the live reactions are over at this point. Um, at this point onwards, basically her stepbrother Asahi takes her to the uh, Castro Fluminis. You go there, meet up with them, and his obvious impending betrayal comes to fruition where Yasu is revealed to have her memories fully returned. Obviously the gang finds that out and she uses a bunch of fucking crystals that were in these crates that Asahi had brought to that location to invoke a primal and she effectively becomes like the goddess of the moon or something to that effect. She's effectively decided that she's going to resume her pathological cell, uh, sorry, her pathological tendencies and attempt to take revenge once again on the people of Dorma and realistically the world at large, right? If somebody's extremely resentful about the way that life is, they're not just lashing out at individual people, not really. They're not just lashing out at an individual community, not really. It's kind of like the state of being itself and the world at large is their fucking enemy. And even if they destroy, even if Yotsuya was to destroy Doma completely, raise it to the ground, okay, in the form of this damn primal, you really think that she'd be any better? No, man, she'd go right on to the next thing. Um, because that's what resentful people do, you know? They are at war with reality themselves, uh, itself. Now, of course, there's like an obvious contradiction here. She's accepted her brother's crystals and accepted to partake in her stepbrother's plan to uh, invoke the power of this primal. She's just being used all over again. She's just being used all over again. And I like to believe that she kind of is loosely aware of this and she has some cognitive dissonance going on during the fight, right? It's almost like she kind of realizes that she's being fucked with on some level during the fight and that she's being exploited all over again and that her resentment and her, her desire to lash out and stomp the world into the ground is being exploited and abused all over again, just like it was with uh, the Galleons, you know? Her brother's no fucking different. He, what a, what a piece of shit that guy is, but we're gonna ignore him for this video because I'll explode. Fuck that guy. So during the actual trial itself, you kind of DPS the boss down a little bit, you DPS the primal, primal form of your Yotsuyu down a little bit, and then something actually happens, right? Everything kind of fades to black, and she phases back out of her primal form and she actually says uh, why does it fade away as she's turning back into kind of mini Yotsuyu and then she says ah I understand it feeds on my suffering then what happens is that a bunch of kind of ghost-like figures and um and spirits or even you might even consider it as memories of the people who have exploited the fuck out of her, you know, her parents, her brother, Xenos. All of these kind of ghostly forms begin to manifest in the trial, and it's almost like she is inviting them back in to kind of fill her heart up again with, with the need for vengeance so that she can shift back into the primal form again. Um, that's one interpretation. I think there are two ways that this fight can be interpreted. One is really, really simple. Again, she wants to invite that suffering back into our heart so that she empowers the primal again. Like she said, uh, the primal feeds on her suffering, right? So she wants to reinvoke all of that hatred, become the primal again, and finish this fight and finish the job, you know? However, one ghost that appears during this trial contradicts that idea, contradicts that theory, and that is obviously the appearance of Gosetsu, who shows up to prevent Xenos from uh, from executing her, effectively, right? Gosetsu shows up. So I think that Gosetsu's appearance here very much plays against that idea that these are just manifestations in her head and she's trying to conjure up these images to um, to kind of reinvite all of that suffering back into her heart. It feels much more likely that these spirits that we are seeing during this fight and these ghosts of, you know, Gosetsu and her parents and her brother and Xenos are more just manifestations of her internal struggle. And that's the way that I like to interpret this. Maybe you guys got a different interpretation as well. I'd love to hear it. But this is the way that I like to interpret this, right? It's 
it's almost like they are symptoms of her cognitive dissonance of her internal struggle for me i really can't see it being any other way like why would she consciously bring to mind gosetsu who is the only person really significantly in her life who did anything to genuinely try to protect her and to keep her safe might have been out of honor doesn't really matter what the fucking reasons are okay he kept her safe he saved her from execution like multiple times even when he himself had every reason to put her to death when it became evident that she had uh, survived the events at Castle Doma. Anyways, it kind of wraps up with Gusetsu's spirit willing her on to live. You must survive, Sue, you, this, that, and the other thing. Um, and then she says a few voice lines that I feel hint at regret. So she says a few things. She says, how did it come to this? The primal begins to take control of her all over again. She says, it is too late for me. There can be no redemption. A night bloom shall flower here upon the site of my demise, and in darkness blooms the spider lily. Now this was interesting, man. Um, I actually made some quick notes of this because I was like, spider lily? That's very, very specific, you know? So I, I checked it out real quick. And apparently in Japanese culture, the spider lily is a flower that is associated with, with, with sad memories, with final farewells, with death, final goodbyes and all of that. And she makes this statement again as she is transforming once more into the primal form. And this to me, like knowing this, oh my god, dude. Like I think that was really the moment that her spirit finally failed. She failed at her... She failed to pass through the window of redemption in the final moments that it was open, you know? It's like she finally gives herself over to the primal. She accepts that she is gone, that she is lost, that the primal is going to take control, and she is... She's done, man. She failed, you know, she failed. It's a failed redemption arc. It's a tragic redemption arc that didn't end the way that I wanted it to, but maybe it was just the right way it was supposed to end. Like, not everybody deserves redemption at the end of the day. She did extremely fucking terrible things. She's probably the most, like, overtly wicked, just cruel character that we've met so far in FF14. So maybe redemption just wasn't the way, man. Even still, seeing her go out the way that she went out at the hands of her fucking stepbrother in the end, fucking shooting her while she's on the ground, fucking kicking the shit out of her. It's like, dude, I mean, she kills the shit out of him. <laughs> Which is fucking such a goddamn relief because that son of a bitch, man. Luna, what is wrong with you? So I don't know. I don't know what else I've got to say about this other than I'm just fucking sad, man. I'm just sad. What a sad goddamn story uh, Yosuyu's arc ended up being, you know? Just all of it. Tragic backstory. Failure, like, failure to redeem. Like, oh, okay, like, fair enough, she killed her brother. That was fucking... That was awesome. Oh my god, man, was that satisfying, you know? But besides that, like, jeez, dude. What a goddamn sad story, man. My hopes now, my hopes now, boys, rest with Fordola. Come on, Fordola, redeem, please. <laughs> I'm so fucking hope, I'm hoping so hard, beyond hope, that Fordola ends up living, man. If she just gets fucking executed in the end, Oh my god, man. No, come on, man, Square. You gotta give me at least one redemption story, man. I'm so bad for redemption stories, dude. I wanna see everybody get redeemed, even when I know that it's just ridiculous and not realistic. Like Yotsuyu's... Man, yeah, I don't know about that. I wanna see Fordola survive and, um, and like, like, fucking join the Scions and all of that shit. She's got some echo action going. She could do it, man. Come on, it would be fucking sick. Please don't spoil it for me in the comments. <laughs> but alright guys, I'm gonna leave this here. Thanks for stopping by. This is a long ass video, so if you made it to the end, thank you so fucking very kindly. I appreciate you greatly. Let me tell you who else I appreciate. Actually, once I check the name real quick, there it is. Mr. Violet Banjo and Chris Chin. You two boys know who you are, the two newest channel members. We really appreciate you boys hitting the uh, join button below the videos and supporting the channel financially. It's incredible. Thank you so, so much. And thanks also, obviously, to the rest of the channel members. Mr. Vincent Brown, Kirith, Olitech, Defane. Defane, man, you're still around, dude. Some of you guys have been members for like five, six months. It's incredible. Uh, Timmy Elgbro, Brooks, Jin, Christopher Nage. You guys are all fucking gods.
among men. So thank you kindly. Hope you all did enjoy this video. I want to do one of these eventually on Fordola. Um, maybe even do one on Xenos eventually. It really depends when their stories come to an end. Uh, I want to do one for Lease, this expansion as well, and really track hair development throughout the whole expansion and my favorite bits and all of that. Um, so yeah. Cheers, guys. Hope you all are looking forward to future videos. I know I certainly am looking forward to recording them. And I shall catch all of you guys just a tad bit later.